We should be enjoying the summer blockbusters right at this time. Not now in COVID, you may be missing the big screen experience for the past few months. Well, in Alberta today, you can go to the theater again. Landmark Cinemas and Cineplex announced they will open select cinemas in the province today. They plan to open more on July 3rd, so a week from today, including some in British Columbia. But as you can probably guess, screenings are going to be very different in the COVID-19 era. I'll tell you what I've been missing about movies, and that's our Friday movie review. So look who's with us. We get to make up. We get to say happy Friday to Eli, who's uh, checking out the reopening situation and what they're doing to hey, keep Heather. safety risks at a minimum. It's great to see you, Eli. Nice to see you. What is it going to be feeling like and looking like to go to the theater these days? Uh, the moment you step in the theater, uh, I think you're going to notice differences. You're going to see those markers in the concession line. They're going to be practicing physical distancing uh, everywhere. When you line up to buy the popcorn that you may have been missing, when you select your seat, so both at the Landmark Theater chain and the Cineplex Theater chain, there's the markers I was talking about. They actually have limited concessions available now, so they're really trying to keep the menu just kind of through those movie theater favorites. When you pick your seat, seats, you'll notice that the theaters are going to be really trying to spacing out the seating of patrons and so that people can't too sit, sit too close to each other. They're going to be two or three seats apart. In some theaters, uh, they'll actually be empty rows to keep people even more isolated. We're looking at theaters with like 20 to 30 percent uh, capacity. And of course, as you see there, advanced cleaning procedures uh, to keep everything hygienic, especially those surfaces uh, that we all touch. Now, I talked to the CEO of Landmark Cinemas, uh, Bill Walker, and there's been a big debate about the wearing of masks uh, in America. AMC said they wouldn't be necessitated. Then they changed their mind saying they're going to be asking people to wear masks. Uh, Cineplex and Landmark both not mandating mask wearing. Uh, and here is Bill Walker, the CEO, explaining how they came to that decision. You're probably here in Calgary, maybe 20, 25% of patrons in the mall are wearing masks. And so while we fully support guests wearing masks, our staff are obviously wearing masks and we understand the health benefits that can be attributed to that. But unless it's mandated in the overall market, I think for theaters to step out beyond and, and mandate that for our guests is, is not something that seems reasonable to us. Now, many of those theaters will be making masks available and of course, all their staff will be wearing masks. What do health experts say about the risks and whether people should return to the theaters? I mean, that's exactly what I was thinking is, look, I mean, I nothing I would love more, nothing to be in a movie theater, to be able to enjoy that experience in the dark with a group of strangers. But even uh, Dr. Lenora Saxinger, uh, she's an infectious disease specialist in Alberta. She's a movie fan herself. And she was saying to me that she's actually, you know, a little nervous, the idea of being in that enclosed space with that shared airflow for two hours does give her some pause. The way she said it to me is that the risks are better than being in someone's living room, but not as good as being outside. Now, there are no easy answers. I can't give you an easy yes or no, because it really depends, as she was explaining, on so many factors. Like, what are the infection rates in the area where you live? Is the screening you're going to uh, very popular? What is the traffic like in that cinema? Are you a member of the vulnerable population? But she did give me some tips, some things to keep in mind that you can be aware of to limit those risks if you do go to the cinema. Take a look. I would be looking critically at the bathroom, but frankly, sometimes you have to use the bathroom. And in that case, you'd want to use it when you're distanced from other patrons in the bathroom, um, potentially alone if possible. Um, and you'd be really meticulous about hand hygiene after being to the concession, the bathroom, after using the ticket machine, anything like that is a high touch surface, you would want to have your hand sanitizer and use it. 
She does recommend uh, using masks, and she says she realizes it's, uh, you know, uh, not ideal, but you know, she says, you know, you take the mask off, shovel in the popcorn, and then put the mask back on, or at least when you're uh, waiting in line for something, wear that mask. One good thing is she said she looked at the research. There have been no cases of a spread that began in a movie theater. So right now, that doesn't seem to be a primary area of concern. So maybe some of those safety measures are helping. Okay, uh, health reporter, come back to film critic role for just a second. People who decide they too miss the experience and are going to be there in the theaters, what are they going to be able to see? Because production's been shut down in so many spots. Yeah, and a lot of the studios are really holding back their larger titles because they really want to wait until those big audiences return right now to try and lure you into the theaters. You're going to see some kind of classic family favorites, some older titles like Trolls World Tour, like Invisible Man. You're going to see reduced ticket prices. But what really will be interesting is when we get to the middle of July and then there's Mulan and Disney right now is still saying that Mulan is going to to open on July 24th, but already Disney is starting to push back the opening of many of their amusement parks. And there is kind of a question, if they're telling people it's not safe enough to go to Disney World, is it safe to go to a theater with your family? So you could see that date change. Tenant, the big action film from Christopher Nolan, that was supposed to open the week after July 31st. And they've already just last night pushed it back to the middle of August. So as we see those infection rates start to spike again in the States, these dates move back. And so you might wonder, Heather, well, why are the movie theaters actually even attempting opening in such a climate? Well, take a listen to what Jeff Bach, who's a senior media analyst with Exhibitor Relations, says about the state of the theatrical industry. We're looking at a, at a do or die situation for the old model. You know, there's a reason that theaters are pushing to open is because they are on the brink of collapse. And, and don't let anybody tell you differently. It is, it, it, they need these films in theaters to get people to come. So they need those films, but uh, we need to decide whether it is safe depending on where we live and the conditions around us. And so it will be interesting to see whether audiences begin responding, well, today. Today. Can I just quickly three words that caught my ear reduced ticket prices is that what you they are in those theaters reduced oh, yeah. ticket prices oh, yeah. all right that might be appealing to some too okay <laughs> eli so great to see you on a friday talking movies